Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I'm going to show you guys the perfect example of how and why we would use diode mode on your multimeter. And here it is. I've got a board that has possibly a diode that's bad. Over here on this port here, there is a line that goes out to the batteries. So you have to figure that there's going to be a couple different sets of diodes because you've got a charge circuit that's going to maintain the batteries. So you're going to have diodes aimed in this direction. And then also you're going to have diodes aimed in this direction because at some point you're going to have to backfeed from the batteries in case you lose AC power. So I got four diodes and the symptom is that this device when I yank the power cord, I can hear some clickety clacks. So it's, it's using some of the battery voltage, but there's some hindrance. There's a little bit of a problem in there. So let's start the connector, work our way back. The first thing it does, is it goes through a set of diodes. So right here, you can see I have one, two, three, and four different diodes right here. And if we flip the board over, we have some really good contact points that we can test from. All right, so it would be these two, these two, these two, and these two. So here's my multimeter, and let's see. First thing we wanna do is make sure that the multimeter is in diode mode. So you can see that right here, my multimeter has a diode symbol right there. In order to get to that, we have to push the select button on this multimeter. Some of them are different. And you can see there's a little diode symbol. So match up the diode, diode symbol. And what this does, it, it enables about a volt and a half worth of voltage here on your polarized leads. Okay, so red is positive, black is negative. And we are gonna use that to test these diodes to see if they're dysfunctional. So you guys should know that a diode that is reverse biased is going to be OL, which is overload. It's not gonna be anything. And then if we forward bias the diode, it's gonna show your voltage drop. So here's an example. We'll start at the first one. Make sure I get it on there really good. Okay, you can see that my voltage drop is 0.168 of a volt, and here's how we test it. Because remember, diodes want to fill in a short. So if you get some burn marks on a board or something, check your diodes, it's probably failed in a short. But we're gonna test that right now in diode mode. I reverse the polarity of my leads, and you can see it says OL. Oh well. So now I'm gonna go to the next one. Let's test the next one. It says OL. Oh well. I'm gonna reverse the polarity of my leads, which means flip them around. 0.169, so that's looking good. So I'm gonna go to the third one here, 0.151, let's reverse them. You can see it's charging up a capacitor there someplace on the board, and then it goes to OL, which means that one's good. So let's go to the last one. Okay, this one's all over the place. See how it's jumping all over the place? And I'm in it pretty good. So since it's jumping all over the place like that, that means that someplace here on these connections is not good. So I'm probably gonna just resolder these connections and check the traces under the microscope to make sure that they're actually touching. And that should be my problem. So that's gonna be this diode right here. And that, guys, how and why you would use diode mode on your multimeter. Now they all have it. Almost every single multimeter I know of has diode mode. Let's see. I have another multimeter here. Let's go ahead and turn this guy on. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go menu. All right, and this one here is going to be system. Let's switch it to DMM. Now I'm in multimeter. And now I can go through and I can switch. Okay, so you've seen right here on my second button, I rotated between diode, capacitor, temperature, nice, resistor, continuity, diode. So here we go. 
This one here puts out 2.9 volts across the two leads and we would go from there with testing the diode. All right guys, anyway, I'm gonna start there on this board, see if I can get it back up and going, but that is a clear example of diode mode and why you would use it on your multimeter. Anyway, guys, that is all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. It's just a little clip, but believe it or not, there are circumstances like this where you can forward bias and reverse bias, things like transistors, just to test them out and see how well it's working. You can also light LEDs using the polarity of your meter leads because it's kicking out just enough voltage. So you can test out your LEDs too. Multimeters, it's your basic tool. You should know how to use it. And these little features can really help you out and take you up another notch when it comes to your skill set. Thanks for watching, guys.